Ben McAvoy is one of those modern players. St Kilda Ruckman been good enough to join us at seven minutes. So good morning to you, Ben. Good morning, guys. Yeah, Ben, uh, we've just been talking about interchange. Uh, would you like there to be less interchange or more interchange? Oh, as a current player, I think, you know, I'd definitely prefer them to leave the interchange because it's obviously a very demanding game and um, the less interchange you get, obviously, the harder it gets. But um, in terms of the overall perspective of the game, I don't think someone as young as I is in a uh, position to comment because I've, never, I've only ever played it this way. So I don't know what it would be like to play the other way. So. Well, the game is going to be more difficult for you to play this year even as a ruckman because uh, theoretically you're going to have about three less seconds to get to mm. the stoppage. So are you aware of all that and what have you done to counteract that? Yeah, we've, um, we've spoken about that a lot this pre-season. Um, yeah, obviously the ball's going to be going up a lot quicker and um, yeah, it's obviously um, the idea is to keep the game moving a lot more and the less time you have at stoppages, the less time you have to get set up and and the more chances the ball's going to come out, obviously. So, yeah, we've spoken about that, about um, how I suppose we have to be prepared to be less organised because you just don't have to have the time to set up. Well, in terms of the makeup of your pre-season, how much of your time, Ben, is spent, uh, you know, being an athlete and getting yourself running fit compared to actually being a ruckman and the art and craft of ruck work? Is it possible to break down how much time you spend on a percentage basis doing one over the other? Um, I suppose you could if you if you really crunch the numbers, but probably um, I suppose it's probably about fifty fifty. Mm. Now I do the generic um, program for the most part, which is um, a bit of running. There's also been um, a special all for, for us in the last year or two, um, which is probably Scott Waters' influence. We've done a lot more uh, footy oriented stuff in the pre-season. So we typically you've just done you know a lot of running and just smashed it out, especially pre-Christmas. We've We've done a lot of footy-specific stuff, and I've certainly this pre-season done um, the most specific ruck work that I've, I've done to date. You've been in the system for a while now, taken in the 2007 first round, top 10 pick in the 2007 national draft. Do you feel now, with the sort of base that you've got behind you, that you've learnt what you need to learn about the craft at this level to start to really come into your own in the next sort of five to seven years? Um, I think so. I, I've certainly still got a a way to go. I mean, um, there's guys around the competition I, I still look up to an awful lot. Um, you know, the likes of Dean Cox, who even at, what is he, is he 33 now or mm-hmm. something, and still has the ability to dominate a game. Um, you know, certainly not at that level, but I think um, once you've been in the system this long, there's, I suppose there's the ex- expectation now that uh, I've had long enough to, um, as you say, learn the craft, and uh, it's a matter of competing on a weekly basis with those with those um, top-class guys. It's one of those questions that go around, isn't it? What you do with early picks in drafts, and do you take a ruckman? There seems to be this conversation going on. I wonder, Ben, it's hypothetical, but you're a list manager. You're in charge of recruiting at an AFL club, and you've got you know pick number nine in the national draft. Would you invest that on a ruckman? Oh, well, I would, because I'm biased, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it is a, it's a good point. I mean... Um, it probably d- does depend on. It's a matter of p- opinion, I suppose. So, um, yeah, probably I'd be a little bit biased, and, um, and I'd value our position very highly. But um, there'd obviously be some guys around that, um, that wouldn't wouldn't see it as um, such an important role. And we'd also get back to strength, though, too, wouldn't it? Like, you know, some of the young kids that come through are ruck size, but they're probably you know fifteen, twenty kilos lighter than what they need to be. Yeah, we're well, obviously making a long-term investment nearly any time you pick up a ruckman. So we've probably seen a lot of clubs um, go for um, sort of older, more mature guys, guys that have been tried and tested a little bit. Um, and that'd be why, because um, as much as it's the case with any um, new young kid you draft, when you when you draft a ruckman, you know you're making a significant long-term investment in your footy club. So it's suppose there's that pressure to really make the right decision. We're talking to uh, Saints ruckman, uh, Ben Big boy, McAvoy. Now, do you like the big boy thing or not, Ben? Because it seems like uh, whenever your name's mentioned, it's now Ben Big Boy McAvoy. Uh, yeah, I think it was BT that started that, so I'll give you the impression that I don't like it, but uh, it really doesn't bother me much. Hey, as long as they're talking about you, mate. What excites you right now? What excites you right now about uh, this new season of AFL football? Um, oh, well, for us, it's, um, it's just... a. It's almost a clean slate, I think. I mean, uh, from our perspective, there's probably not much of an expectation that, that we go any good this year. 
Um, a lot of people probably tip us to not even make the eight. So, um, yeah, we just oh, I feel like we get a free swing in it. We've had a great pre-season. Um, we've got a lot of people on the track at the beginning. We've got a, a really healthy list, and um, and some of our kids have been absolutely fantastic. It's, it's really exciting to see some some talent coming through. So. We just um, yeah, just came to uh, to get stuck into it. And you're a Dedarang uh, Mount Beauty boy. Did you have any people, any of your family, any friends involved in any of the fires? Um, oh yeah, well, Dad's in it. Mum and Dad are in the sea fire, so they're always involved. Um, it's uh, Harry the fire. Dad's been over uh, um, on the truck over there a little bit, and they, Mum and Dad have had a couple of lightning strikes um, within uh, a couple of k's of home. But um, this year, Touchwood um, have mostly got away with it. So. Well, that's a good thing. Hey, mate, all the very best for 2013 uh, to you and the Saints. It's an interesting view you've got about uh, the expectation on the group. And from there, who knows, you might be able to surprise a few. Thanks for joining us on the show. No worries. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ben.